Hey guys, it's Tom Cuz. We're back at Great Adventure. Today is Thursday, September 26th. And the main reason I'm here is because of a really cool flash update, which you guys would have already saw in the previous video. But either way, it's a good excuse to come here and ride some rides. There, This is still a preview day of Fright Fest. The other mazes aren't quite ready to go yet. So that should mean that it's not going to be very crowded and we'll get on a lot of rides. So we'll see how it goes. It does look like all the way across now. They have those new gates installed at the entrances, which is nice. That way no one can... Uh, accidentally sneak in. You can see they still have the preview sign up as well. You can also see it looks like they repainted these dome rooms. Of course, there's that red I pointed out last week, and it looks like there are now numbers too going all along these boots all the way down, which is a nice touch. Announcement. Please remain where you are. Momentarily, you will embark into a world of infernal immorality. Creatures of the night will lurk in the shadows amongst the living. Monstrous slayers hunting for their next victim. For 31 years, Dr. Fright and his minions have feasted on your fear. But tonight, they are hungry for more. Was that a figment of your imagination? Or are you meeting face to face with your worst terrors in the night? Tonight, two realms will collide among the mortals and the menacing. This is your final warning. Escape while you can. Torture and torment are about to commence. Welcome to Fright Fest Extreme. And good luck. You see the dome over there by the exit restrooms are also, it's also repainted. And it looks like they finished off this, uh, entrance kind of thing with all the looney tunes a little more you have this concrete here now all the blocks it actually looks really nice especially with all the landscaping they did really nice touch and like i said i imagine long term they're probably going to put a sign there that says like great adventure kind of like how the cedar fair parks have it which i think is going to look really good <laughs> looks like they have a new meet and greet here where the looney tunes was not uh looney tunes live anymore it's now right fest live looks like there were some ghouls training over here at asylum and uh saw down there at Asylum and Saw, you can see they put uh, some new signs dictating which way is the entrance for which maze. Walking over here by Batman, it looks like they might have repainted these pillars in front of the Batmobile. You can see the gray on the top and this tan in the middle along with the gray on the bottom. I don't remember it looking that sharp, so that definitely looks like they did that because it doesn't match these as well. We're actually gonna go on Batman, but I imagine maybe over the off season or before that, they're gonna wind up repainting all of these to match that as well. So I'm gonna take a wild guess as we walk into this Batman station that we're probably the only ones up here. And uh, it looks like I was right. We just got off of what I believe was the first ride of the day on Batman because there's nobody here. Road to front road. It was actually running really, really good. I haven't ridden this in quite a few visits actually, so it was nice to get back on it. Zach, how was Batman? That ride is stupid intense. Even with like an empty train, it's still crazy intense. I would definitely agree with that. And Dad? Intense and smooth. Always forget how good the front row is on this ride. And now it is time for Nitro. As you can see, Nitro is indeed on three trains. Making its 2024 debut is the B train. Upper. Thanks, Jerry Ryan. did four rides on nitro in the back row like i said a b and d are all running and we rode d all four times it was running great and we were the only ones on the train for most of those rides uh but like i said it's dead today i have a feeling today's gonna be a big time ride today and we got our fill in on nitro so far just had some food at mama floors thing now we're gonna head over to king Dakar. And it's great on a night like this because you can very easily get a ton of rides in on all the coasters because there's nobody here. And I'm definitely looking forward to that on Ka, especially at night. Those Ka night rides, the marathons are always something special. So I'm on the hunt for new merch and over here in Main Street Market, they have these trick or treat great adventure hoodies, orange and black, which look really nice. And here they are right here. They have t-shirts as well. They have a sign out now. There's filming in progress. I know the media team is here from corporate. So probably gonna see some new um, 
media content coming out from um, Six Flags Corporate showing off some of the Freight Fest stuff going on here at Great Adventure. As you can see from us walking around the park, there is nobody here. I think the ghouls might actually outnumber the guests. I mean, just look at these views. Panning down Dream Street, not really very many people at all. This is what I like to see. No waits for anything in the park. And everything's open, too. Quite frankly, I think walking down this wild walkway with no one down here is creepier than anything they could put ghouls in. This is really creepy. It looks like they've changed the sign for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you guys remember from previous videos, it did not look like that. It didn't have the guy on it right there, but it is now like that. I actually like that a lot better. You can see up there. Essentially, nobody in line for King Daka because it is so dead here. And they trimmed a lot of the bamboo back over here next to the King Daka station. So you actually see way more of the station. It kind of looks like how it did back when it first opened. It's really weird. All right, so I told you guys that tonight was gonna be a rides night. Zach, why don't you tell them how many rides did we just do on King Daka? Uh, like 41. Not like 41, exactly. 41. 41, uh, all I mean, we did. I have the, yeah. I yeah, have you the have the counter. Uh, if I can find it. I'll let you pull it up. Um, it there you go, 41. 41. We kept track. It, it's true, we did it. I don't know how we did it. Um, I only had to go around once out of all the rides, I think it was like on the 34th ride I had to go around. Um, and something else I wanna point out, other than the fact the crew is amazing, so you guys see this lighting right here, right? How there's that weird reflection. So when you go on the ride itself, you go up the top hat, when you're looking straight up, the spotlight is reflecting into the fog or the cloud up there or whatever it is. And you see the train and the top hat as a shadow rising up. It is one of the craziest visuals I've ever seen. There goes Toro. Sounds like there's pretty much nobody on it. Um, Ka, we were lucky enough to have full trains every single, well not full trains, but you need at least 14 people in order for them to launch the train. It did not go down once in all of those 41 rides. And we used almost exactly the two hours that we were allotted from the locker to get all of those rides. We, uh, my dad got off a little early. Dad, how many rides did you do? Uh, 33 maybe? 33. Maybe. 34 maybe, something like that. He went off and got the stuff out of the locker so we could go a little bit longer. So it was about 20 um, trains per hour, which is really good for one train. That's all they need on a night like this where there's nobody here. But when I say the Thursday nights or the nights to come, I'm telling you, they really are. Last Thursday night, we were here for media night. So we didn't really get to ride as much, but um, this time we didn't do any of the mazes and we got to ride a ton. I might be able to actually catch this reflection for you guys now. Let's see if it works. You can see like the very faint line up there. I don't know if it's really gonna work. No, not really. It's still a really, really neat visual. But that was just an incredible set of rides we just did on King Daka. Never know, you know, how often I'm gonna be able to do this. Ride this ride 41 times. It's an amazing ride. And the more you ride it, the more you love it. The airtime's great, the launch is great. Everything about this ride is just fantastic. And Dad, how were your rides? I didn't get to ask you. So I got back-to-back -back front row rides. Got out all over the train in the back quite a few times. It was, it was incredible, incredible. I should mention two of my ride, I think two, or maybe three were in the front row. My first one was in the front row and then somewhere in the middle, I also got another front row ride. Just absolutely incredible rides here on the king of all coasters, King Daka. You're on the cocker right now, you know who you are. Shout out to you guys, you guys were awesome. Getting those trains out super fast and just being really, really nice to spend a couple of hours with. Love you, Christian. The lights from Dead Man's Party all over the sky like this looks absolutely insane. I almost forgot, it is Fright Fest. The freak show is currently going on. And of course there's Carnival over there with all the clowns wandering around. I still think the craziest thing about all of this, we did all of that. I still have time to get my ice cream, to stand around here. The park doesn't close for another half hour. You can really do so much with not much time when you come here on these nights, because there's just no one here. You have the freedom to just go about your day as quickly or as slowly as you please, and you'll still get in a ton of rides. So over here at Sugar Shack, I have discovered that at the Icy Machine, they have the Fanta Beetlejuice Beetlejuice flavor. I'm not gonna get it right now, because I can't have any more sweets right now, but um, they do have it. They also have Minute Maid something lemonade. 
uh, along with a couple others. But if you're looking for that Beetlejuice Beetlejuice drink, it is here at the Sugar Shack. And for those who have not seen um, previous vlogs where I talked about the merch offerings they have, I showed the new trick-or-treat stuff earlier. If you're looking for a lot of it, you're gonna find it inside Nightmare on Main Street over there. Of course, I'm focusing. Uh, it's right to the right of the fountain when you come in. You'll have uh, Stranger Things, Conjuring, Saw, Trick or Treat, and a few others all in that shop. So if you're looking for IP specific merch, I highly recommend going in there. If you're looking for the more generic Fright Fest stuff, you're gonna find a ton of that in Main Street Market as well as Six Flags Universe right here. Both of those have a really great selection of all that merch. That is going to do it for our, I guess you could say, our King de Ka filled night here at Great Adventure. It was mainly defined by our 41 rides on King de Ka, four rides on Nitro, and one ride on Batman, as long as well as uh, stopping and talking to a multitude of people. It was a great night. I cannot recommend these Thursday nights enough. I try to get to them as much as I can. Wasn't really planning to come today, but I'm happy I did. Zach, how was your night here at Great Adventure? Those 41 King de Ka rides were absolutely insane. Uh, I love that ride so much. I will always love that ride. And that was just, this was, this night was just so unexpected and so great. Um, I wouldn't trade for anything. Absolutely, and Dad. Great night, kind of last minute uh, trip. And all those car rides, God almighty. I definitely broke my personal best <laughs> with 30 plus. Yeah, the 41, that is definitely the most I've ever ridden a, a, ri a singular ride in a day. I think before that it was like 36, that was my highest. So definitely beat that there but with all that being said that's gonna do it for today's video from six flags great adventure if you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye guys <laughs>